So it's the 12th of June 2016 and I'm frantically trying to log on to the joint entrance examination or the JEE website to check my results. Assuming my rank to be something around 2500, but to my surprise, it's actually 1027. And just like that, looking at past year trends, a balanced compromise is made and my college and major is decided. So today I want to talk about the four years I spent earning my mechanical engineering degree at the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur or better known as IIT Kanpur. I'll talk about my grades, extracurriculars and other stuff while also trying to keep it short and to the point. So let's just get into it. In my first semester, I was registered in six courses, actually seven if you also count the morning exercise, which we had to go to twice a week at six in the morning, which is absolutely horrible. So these are the courses and my grades in them. Please don't laugh at my grades. So let's see, intro to biology, uh, math one was a lot of complicated calculus, intro to logic was actually a humanities course. We actually had to take five humanities courses over four years to actually earn our degree. Engineering graphics, which was the basic engineering drawing course, which I didn't really like, which is also ironic because I'm a mechanical engineer. I don't know if they have this in the US, but we actually had to draw a bunch of stuff by our hands and it had a bunch of techniques and rules and it was really hard and the labs were really long. So just just trust me it was exhausting apart from academics i was also doing a cultural event called freshest night in my first semester i was a part of the music club playing keyboard and it was like super fun so we had to pull like a few all-nighters for the practice and at the time i thought oh my god this is taking so much of my time and i really can't do this anymore so i skipped all the music club events for the rest of the year but later when i realized i don't really care about studies that much, I went back. So my GPA at the end of the first semester was a 9.2 out of 10, which was also my highest ever, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. Then in the second semester, I discovered something called sitcoms, which of course I don't watch anymore. So my GPA took a little dip. I also want to make an important distinction here. So at IIT Kanpur, there are two separate things, the SPI and the CPI. So SPI is the semester performance index, which is the average of all the grades that I got in that particular semester. And CPI is the cumulative performance index, which is the cumulated weighted average of all the grades of all the courses which I had taken till that point. So my SPI in the second semester was an 8.6, but my CPI, the cumulative grades, was an 8.9 out of 10. Please don't laugh at my grades. So my first year was pretty uneventful. The only good thing that comes out of it is that everyone is taking the same courses. So studying together is a little bit easier that way and you also make new friends. So after the first year came the summers. I somehow feel like there's always this pressure, especially during vacations, that you need to be doing something all the time or others will use their time more productively than you and will get ahead of you. So as a result, of this, I took a bunch of things during my first year summers. I took up a course, I was doing a project with the robotics club and for some reason I was also a part of the design team of IIT Kanpur's cultural festival Antaragni. I don't know what I was doing. But the robotics project was actually pretty cool. We made like a home automation system where we were trying to control a bunch of appliances like fans or LED lights with an app. So that was pretty cool. My first year summer was also the only semester where I got a 10 on 10 because I was taking only one course and I got an A in it. So yeah, guys, I, I'm pretty smart. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, as you would expect, that summer got a bit hectic, after which I realized that I don't really give a shit about robotics and I don't really care about designing posters on Photoshop either. So yeah, I dropped out of the design team and I dropped out of the robotics club too. Second year started with proper mechanical engineering courses. As Mechi majors, we didn't really have a lot of freedom yet to choose our courses because we had a lot of template defined courses. But at the same time, we got to do like proper basic core mechanical engineering. So that was cool. I really like thermodynamics, gas cycles. Am I right? <laughs> I got my first A star, which means like outstanding. So that was really exciting. I think I'm smart guys. Engineering design was a very AutoCAD heavy course. And for the final project, we had to actually design a pendulum clock with like moving parts. So that was really, really hard. Aha. Let's not forget about 
probably the most hated courses at IIT Kanpur, Manufacturing Processes 1 and 2, TA201 and TA202. These were really lab heavy courses with three hour labs where we were doing physical labor all the time and we had to design mechanical projects by the end of both the courses. I think for 201, my team made something called a multi-level parking system which was pretty much trash but at least it had moving parts so we got extra points for that so that's good i don't think i really have any photo or video of this project so i'll just put up a work distribution sheet which probably doesn't make any sense to you that's the content you subscribe for for ta202 we made something called an excavator which actually worked properly and was pretty cool i think i have a video which i'll put right now Also, I find it funny that I got a B in the introductory fluid mechanics course and now I do research in fluid mechanics. Random electrical engineering course in the wild. Communication skills or COM as we used to call it was a pretty stupid course in my opinion where we were doing like middle school grammar or something. Uh, I don't even remember. Fun fact. I actually had a night out with some of my friends before the final of this course and I took the exam on basically no sleep which was probably not the most responsible thing in hindsight but it was super fun and I passed the course so looks like a win-win to me. Second year was also a very lab heavy year for mechanical engineering majors. We had three labs in the third semester and four labs per week in the fourth semester which was like super super exhausting. This was also the year when I realized I don't really care about studies that much also and I should get out there and explore other stuff too. So I got back into performing in music club events. I think I did all the events that year which although pretty fun but at the same time was really really time taking. Apart from the music club, I was also a part of the counselling service at IIT Kanpur. I was an academic mentor and a student guide. So right before my second year summers, I started to look for something to do again. An internship or a project or something. To be fair, it's not all like you're like really pressured into doing all these things. You do want to utilize your time as well and you do want to build your resume. Otherwise, I realize it just gets really boring for three months. So yeah, this time I thought I should give research a try but also I really had nothing else going on. So I talked to a professor, applied to IIT Campus research internship program under his supervision and got accepted. It wasn't all that smooth sailing though. I got rejected by a lot of professors first. So that was my first research experience and it was quite productive and new and fun and I really enjoyed it. I did experiments, ran simulations, made a poster at the end of the project and I also gave a presentation at a research conference on my work at IIT Bombay. So yeah, overall great experience. My third year was actually the worst year for me academically. My SPI fell down to a 7.7 .7 and funnily we got the grades when I was at a music festival when the semester had ended I was trying to enjoy myself. So yeah that didn't really go that well. I actually had a lot going on during the semester and I guess my time management just wasn't that great. One, I was looking for a research internship for the upcoming summers. So I was applying to a lot of research programs abroad, cold emailing professors and so on. Second, I was also applying for corporate internships in case the research thing didn't work out. So I was making resumes, going for placement talks, preparing for interviews. And then of course there was music club and my courses. It was just a lot. So let's look at some of the courses. Data structures and algorithms was a very cool course where we learn basically data structures and algorithms. Genius script writing skills right there. It was a bunch of sophisticated algorithms to solve math problems. There was time complexities, trees, graphs, etc, etc. Advanced Mechanics of Solids was a course I really enjoyed but ended up getting a C in. The prof was a really good teacher and we learned a lot of new stuff like tensor algebra but but in the end, he turned out to be really bad at grading, I guess. So at least we learned something. Mechanical engineering communication skills, uh, which was the analog of the course COM that I talked about before for the mechanical engineering department. The course was not really that important. It was just a pass fail course. Uh, we had to do a bunch of weird things for the course. Like uh, once we had to make a video on some mechanical engineering concept that we could observe in real life. So this is what we did. Now I'm going to invert the glass. 
and now I'm going to remove my hand and I took my first computational fluid dynamics course so that was really fun got an A in sociology fun fact I got A's in all the five humanities course that I had to take for my degree. I don't even know if I should be doing engineering anymore. Maybe humanities is my real calling. For some reason, I really wanted a position of responsibility around that time or PORs as we call them. And by POR, I mean like a coordinator of a club or the core team member of some organization. I applied to be the core team member of the counseling service. And I also applied to be the coordinator of the music club. And I got rejected from both. I was so 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 disappointed at the time but now i'm actually so glad that i didn't get any of it because one responsibility is really stupid and also i honestly didn't have the time then came the summers and i had already landed a research internship in germany and i was super super happy about it i've already made a video about it so you should definitely check that out i'd also got in a corporate internship through the placement office at iit kanpur but obviously i chose germany over it because you know europe i interned at the Max Planck Institute for Dynamics and Self-Organization or MPIDS in the Dynamics of Complex Fluids department. My internship experience was really really great and my work produced actually really good results. The city I was in was really beautiful, I got to travel around a lot and overall the experience was just amazing. This internship was also a big part of the reason I applied to grad school because I enjoyed the work so much. So let's now talk about my final year at IIT Kanpur. I came back from my internship but I wasn't really sure just yet that I wanted to go into research so I decided to sit for campus placement. Same old story, my 7th semester again got really hectic. The courses were relatively easier this time but I still had a lot of them. And of course, there was my final year BTEC project which was an absolute disaster and I'm not gonna talk about it because I would just not stop ranting about it. And then of course, there was preparing for placements, coding tests, interviews, going for placement talks and the worst of it all which I hated the most was wearing formals. It was the worst. So I was taking this course solar energy technology and me and my friend Karan we got like a really low score on the midterm and I was like really sad about it and I was like oh, dude we really have to go to every class from now on and like we'll study super super hard and do this and do that and Karan laughed so hard in my face which was fair because we ended up not going to even a single class even after the midterm. Still managed to get a B though so pretty good. I really liked the course advanced CFD. The professor taught really well and the assignments were like really challenging and really interesting and really engaging. You know, for the majority of my four years, I just kept thinking maybe it's just me and I'm not just studying hard enough for my courses. But also sometimes the professors weren't just inspiring or really passionate about their courses. So next time you do badly on a course, you know who to blame. It's still you. Anyway, after taking lots of tests and giving lots of interviews at 5 in the morning, I somehow finally landed a corporate job on day 2 of placements. I was super relaxed and happy that at least it's over now and I finally have a job. So I just chilled for the rest of the winter and it was actually really refreshing not having to worry about your future, at least for a while that is. So in my last semester, I just wanted to do some chill courses, have fun with my friends and do some music. I did some random courses like this appreciating Far Eastern cinema course. This was actually really fun, we just had to sit in class watch old Japanese movie, memorize a bunch of facts about ancient Japanese cinema and I was really good at it. Not to brag but I got an A star in the course. Alright I bragged about it. But then of course Covid hit and the semester was cut short. Although we missed out on a lot of fun last semester things like photo shoots and stuff, I was still kind of happy that I didn't have to do my final year BTEC project. My final GPA or CPI or whatever you want to call it at the end of 4 years was an 8.6 out of 10. Please don't laugh at my grades. I think it was alright. It's not too great, but not too bad either. So yeah, this was it for the video. I hope you found it helpful in some way or at least got some entertainment out of my misery. If you liked it even a little bit, consider subscribing maybe and you should check out the other videos as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Max Planck Institute of Complex... I can't even say the name correctly.